how can you sideload content on your Quest headset using SideQuest? Let's dive right into it. If you are looking to install some amazing content that is not available on the official Quest store or hasn't been approved by Meta yet, then sideloading is the perfect way to go. However, it can be very tricky to set it up for the first time. So we're going to break down the steps so that you can finally get access to all these amazing apps completely for free. Now, firstly, next to SideQuest, you might have also heard about App Lab before. This is essentially Meta's own response to the lack of an official SideQuest feature from themselves. But there is a major difference since the options in App Lab are so much more limited because you cannot browse through the full selections of the apps that they have to offer. And instead, developers have to send specific links if you want to check out the content in the Quest library. But that is exactly where SideQuest comes in, essentially offering a complete database of non-store content for your Quest headset, but also presenting it as one big library for easy discovery so that you can just browse through it and install whatever you feel like. Now there are three main ways to install and unlock this amazing side quest feature. The first and most easy one is to download it directly to your Quest 2. And the second option is to instead install it on your PC where it will give you more features to mess around with. And lastly, it is also possible to install it directly on your Android phones. But personally, I think that most people will have the biggest benefit by simply installing it directly into your headset. So you don't have to worry about using your computer or phone to even be able to use the app. So let's break down the first setup and make sure you follow these steps one by one because they will be necessary for any of the other three options just mentioned. Now firstly, make sure you have a USB-C cord that connects your Quest headset to your computer or phone. And once this connection has been established, the first thing that you will have to do is to registrate as a developer on your Oculus or Facebook account that is associated with your Quest. In order to do this, make sure on your PC you are locked into to the same Oculus or Facebook account that your Quest is registered to. Now enter a new organization name and tick the I understand box to agree to the Oculus Terms of Services. Once registered, you can now enable the developer mode through the Meta mobile app. All you have to do is locate your headset in the app, scroll down to the headset settings and turn on the developer mode. Now also make sure that after this, you fully reboot your Quest by holding down the power button on the side and select power off or restart. And after rebooting, your quest will now be in developer mode. So with the first big step taken, it is now up to you to choose between which three versions of side quests you want. With my personal preference, for the easy installer that is directly on your VR headset. Now to install this, you will have to go to the SideQuest download page and download the appropriate easy installer release for your specific system. Now open the installer and make sure your Quest is still connected through a USB-C cable to your laptop. Because when you open it up, you should be seeing this on screen that lets you automatically install SideQuest on your headset. Now if your headset isn't detected, you may not have completed the first setup steps correctly. So run back this video and make sure you performed every single step specifically. If it's still doesn't show up, make sure you restart your headset and connect it once again to your computer. Now, once you did finish installing it, you will see some confetti effects over your windows, indicating that the process had finally finished. And all you have to do now is just unplug your quest. And with that, all the downloading and setting it up has completely been finished. And when you put on your VR headset, you will be capable of finding side quest under the unknown sources tab. For those who don't know, you can find this by opening your app library and then clicking on the tab in the top right corner. And there you will finally find your side quest. And when clicking on it, it will present you with a linking code that you will have to head to and make yourself a new side quest account. And after you finish this, just follow the steps that you see on screen. Now, lastly, with the whole process behind you, SideQuest is ready to be used. And you will see that you'll be able now to browse and install content from your headset without needing your computer at all. And conveniently, the easy installer also lists some of the App Lab content as well. So you can directly install it within your VR headset. And to prevent some confusion, you might see two pop-ups when you want to install an application. This can be either install the app Sideload or install the app Oculus. For the first one, it will download the app in SideQuest and then you will receive a prompt asking if you want to install it fully. Hit that button and after that you can open the app within the unknown sources tab. However, for the install app Oculus, it will open up a browser window for you which then directs you to the Oculus store page inside the app lab. All you have to do is hit the blue button get and the app will be downloaded and installed directly onto your headset. You have now fully conquered the entire SideQuest library so you can now play amazing games like Half-Life VR and so much more. And for those really hardcore people, it is also possible to install it on 
on your laptop or computer instead, with the only reason for doing this is that this advanced installer gives you some extra options and hidden features of your headset that you can tinker with. But honestly, I think for most VR users, it is much easier and safer to just use a direct version instead. But if you can't help yourself, the process is basically the same. All you have to do is download the advanced installer from your desktop and pretty much follow the same steps that we did before. But keep in mind that when doing this, you will also always need your PC to install games and content on your VR headset, meaning every single time you will have to connect it back to it. But with that, this should give you complete access to all the content you could have ever dreamed for. Now, if you're having some struggles or problems with this installation, let me know that and I will try to help you as much as I can. But we also had some other big VR news. So click on the video you see on screen right now to make sure that you don't miss out.